Welcome back to another episode of WCW Women Cocktails and Whatever. I am Shell Antoinette and it's your big little sister Asia. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> I don't know where I got all this energy from. I can't you that's because you took a nap. It was like an hour. But it was like not too long ago. So you just got a little energy. But I you know, I was up early. I know. Early, early. You're such a friend. <laughs> so, we're going to do what we do today, but we just came off of Friendsgiving. We did. We did. Had a good time with some friends, mm-hmm. partying, drinking, and now we're back to business like we're supposed to be. And since we've been drinking, we might as well continue drinking. We showed up to work. We showed, we showed up, up to work, to work. on up. time. Look at us. Go team. Okay. Snake bites. <laughs> Mm. I left a little razzle in my desk. Okay. All right. So here's the thing. Okay. Our snake bites this week was a little light skinned to do, mm-hmm. right? Because I use this, like, I had got like a little whiskey tasting thing where they come like different four mini ones. Yeah. And it's scotch. And that one, um, that hit one, that hit a little bit right here. Yeah, I had felt that. I had, um, <laughs> shout out Still to the Scottish people. Um, y'all. Y'all, uh, whiskeys be. It's not skinned. Well, at least we we stand with the tequila part of the night. Oh, that's a good thing. So, you know, good morning, good evening. Sunrise is what you have to say. Sunrise in the cup. <laughs> so, sunrise in the cup, you what know. Is it? What is it? Oh, tequila sunrise. It's tequila sunrise. After a night of, like, partying, I was like, we're going to go a little light today, sis. I appreciate you. Uh, I appreciate you. <laughs> even though, even though I wasn't, like, lit, like, drunk. I wasn't I either. had a nice little buzz the entire night. It was like, I feel good. Yeah. Had we a had good time, night. played a bunch of games. It was a great night. We also hydrate. Please, like, Hydrate while you do this foolishness. <laughs> drink a lot of water. You know, we do hydrate ourselves in between all sessions for the record. Okay. Don't be out here just only consuming liquor. I mean. Balance. So if you never had a tequila sunrise, here you go. You're going to need two ounces of tequila. Four of them. Four ounces of orange juice. Four of them. And a fourth of an ounce of grenadine. A fourth of them. (laughs) Put the grenadine in first is what I learned because trying to be fancy with the spoon trick and trying to swoop it down after you didn't pour everything else. I didn't have the energy for it today. I made it to that level. Yeah. I mean, I could have, you know. But today we put the grenadine in first. Anyway, give it a little mixy mix. That way you get the sunrise effect. Ah. Top it off with some cherries and oranges, but I didn't have any of those. So here we are. And uh, put a straw in and here we go. I don't feel like I remember tequila sunrise is tasting like this. Delicious. Mm Mm-hmm. That's because you've never been a big tequila person. I have not. I don't mm-hmm. understand. I never, like, I don't know how people got on tequila first. What are we doing? It was the shots. I feel like people learned tequila because of shots and like margaritas. Also because in the early 2000s, Patron being in every song was a thing. And so people had to, I'm drinking Patron. Look at me. And I you was know like, what? The club scene, the music scene, or whatever can really ruin. Like, that company is doing great, right? Like, you put me in yeah. your song, I'm going to be great. But as a consumer, I'd be like, I don't want none of this. Like, I don't drink any Ciroc anymore. I like. Mm, the Ciroc boys? Listen, if you ever clubbed in Atlanta during the 20 of the 10s, you know the Ciroc boys was a real thing. Oh, we got hookah today, too. Look That's the. Us. And whatever. And whatever. <laughs> that was that part of the evening. <laughs> Trying something a little different. Okay. Was that was a good pull. pull. I good saw pull. that. Yes, ma'am. Oh, you see this? You see this alien spaceship here? Okay. Look at us. Look at us. We put lemons in the bottom of our hookah. Yes. Extra hookah plan. etiquette. Okay. From my own personal experience, you can add fruit or mint or whatever you want in there because it enhances the flavor. Throw in a little ice. Yeah. Because it helps. You know, cool the smoke helps with your pool. There y'all go. Y'all welcome. Don't say another talk to me. Free advice. Free advice. Okay. All right. 
talk. Girl talk. Girl talk. Yeah. I, she ain't do her damn line. She ain't do her damn line. See, I was in the key of class act. We had a whole discussion about this last week. I was girl talk, and she was supposed to come in with the work the bodies, right? But she she didn't do that. Okay, today. we go. We gonna do it again. Take two. Boom. Go. Girl talk. Work the body. Whose song is this? I don't know. You know I don't what? Know what you want from me today? It's over. It's over. You know what I did? <laughs> I went to house music. That's what it did in my head. Don't kill me, but you know I'm not a big house music fan. Oh. One of them. It's okay. I know it's a Chicago thing. It is, and I don't mind ten to fifteen minutes of it. But what I cannot do is attend a like house party. Well, that's all they play. Like that, like house music yeah, party. Like that's house all music they play. Parties are fun. I, they be no okay. So for those who live in Chicago and want to visit downtown. At what is it, Millennium Park? They host, in uh, huh? In the Davis Center. In the Davis yeah, Center. Davis they Center. host in the summer. They have like all these different like fests or programs or whatever. And one of the nights is house music night, and it's yeah, from right. like six thirty to like nine o'clock or something like that. In the park, real fun. You can bring your lawn chairs. You can make your little picnic, whatever. And they got like this open space for you to dance in, and it be lit. Don't get me wrong. I'm talking about the old. There are people I'm be out the there. Me, you see me in my house dance bag? I'm in my bag with the house dancer right now. <laughs> the older people be in their bag. And Chicago people, that's just your thing. It's great. And I had a good time when I went. It's just too long for me. I can't that's listen fair. to house music for three hours. That's fair. Does not, but if I'm being fair, other than R&B, I can't listen to anybody's app music for, th- for three hours. Like, yeah. I love a good reggae section. You got about 20 to 25, 30 minutes, and then I'm out. I need you. Lies. It hit all the reggae songs I needed to hear. But you be wanting, like, snippets, or you want full songs? I don't I don't need full songs. There's See, some songs. Like, let me let my song ride. No, 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 no. There DJ? are some reggae songs. I'm like, play that through. But <laughs> reggae got the, okay, you know what it is. It's when they try to throw in the old school reggae. And you had a... I was like that one beat. And it be on for like an hour. And crazy enough, it had been 12 songs with that same... It just blend. It sound like one long ass song. They were all part of the same choir. So their voices sound exactly The owl. It's just... And so like... That's cute when I'm like, I'm sitting down. I'm not really paying attention to the music. I'm just eating some food, whatever, whatever. But when I'm having a good time... I need 25 to 30 minutes. You're going to throw in some murder she wrote. You're going to throw in some, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're going to give me what I need. Murder. Murder yes. You're going to give me what I need in 30 minutes, and then we're going to move on to the next genre of music. Um, you know what I don't need? I don't need no minutes of? None. Like the techno um, club version of songs, <laughs> all of the Jersey mixes. and j- I don't need no minutes of that. <laughs> Last week, after our trip to um, Hubbard Inn, and we went next door to whatever bar that is, yeah. and we went upstairs, and you technoed all my black music, and I just... I forget that I'm out. artists make a lot of money. They do. Just from, like, they do. the remixes of their songs, mm-hmm. and, like, just across genre. Because you'll go somewhere and be like, huh, this is major, huh? Y'all be in the tech clubs, like, yeah. It's the only version of this song you know. Mm-hmm. They never mm-hmm. even knew that. Mm-hmm. Confusion. Mm-hmm. Turmoil. That'd be... <laughs> in the, in the, in the one of three of these tech parties. <laughs> I'm just, it's, I don't need no minutes of it is what I'm getting to. So you can give me a good house section. You can give me a good uh, reggae section. You can give me a good slow it down one time for the fun time section, which is usually at the end of the night when they're trying to get everybody out. Or at the start of the night, trying to get everybody reared up, wherever you want to go with it. You got to give me a solid 20, I'm sorry, 2000 to 2010 section. Like a solid okay. one. You got to go through like the so Nellies and the Ja Rules. you want to be at the party is the question we have in here. Because you don't want full songs. You don't want three hours or nothing. How long is you trying to But if it? you do this right, I'm here for about two hours, two and a half. If you do this right. 
I don't know. I mean, how long one supposed to be in a club and standing around looking at each other? We be stupid? all night. <laughs> what is you talking about? Why am I coming to the club? If no, 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 no. No, I'm not coming at seven o'clock neither. My oh, no, 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 no. I'm not like, coming at seven, but if we gonna go out, then I'm just gonna be out. What time you making it to the club? Cause for me it's I a mean, good it's eleven o'clock. Free. That's how I got if to it's the club. Free before a certain time, then I'm coming in. <laughs> Okay, granted, which is probably like 11. Ladies, three, four, 11. 11. Okay, so I'm getting there at 10.30. Now, though, I don't be caring about that. Now I'm going to go to a club if I want to, so if I got to pay a cover, but I'm still only going to get there like 10.30, 11. I'm going to get there about 10.30. I'm going to stand in line. I'm going to get there in at 11. They're going to play what they playing. I'm going to make my way to the bar. I'm going to have me a drink. We're going to find a place to sit. You're going to sit there and be cute for a minute because then your liquor going to kick in. Then you really want to get up and dance. You like make sure the music is hitting because now I'm in it. And so at this point, though, you know, you know, and had two drink, another drink. Somebody then bought you a drink. drink. You know, you have a good time and you look up and it's one o'clock. Yeah. It closed at two. I'm definitely not waiting until 2. Why? Because I don't want to deal with all the traffic of all you hoes trying to get to your car at the same time I'm trying to get to my car. Unless something happened where I need to be standing around a little bit longer for. But yeah. other than that, yeah. I'm going to head to my car. You want to know why? Because now we're going to go eat. We're going, we're going to find to food. Town. We're going to Green Town immediately. <laughs> We're going we're, to Maxwell's. We're going to Green Town. We're going to Hollywood Grill. We're going somewhere. Let me get a chicken And I'm now, gonna... look. After I done did that, got my food, I, it's 3 o'clock in the morning. That's fair. Yeah, so I don't know why I need to be in the club for 12 hours. I need you to give me a solid, solid set for two hours, two and a half tops. No, no. It depends, because if you get me on a, like, day party leading into an evening. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Just out. If I go to a day party, I'm not making it to the evening nah, we party. Have, okay, we going brunch, day party. <laughs> okay. Chill little dinner with drinks. Nap. Then we lit. Lituation is what we do. At the age I am today. No, I ain't, no, no. After brunch and day party, there's a nap. There's, a nap. there's, there's a nap. sleep. It ain't even a nap. It's sleep. Okay? Wake me up in 20. Shit. Wake me up in two hours. And. <laughs> Girl, this is why you be mad at me, because it never works. You be like, wake me up in two hours. Girl, I'm going to be back in 30 minutes. Okay? I'm not doing this with you. You're not going to go to don't sleep. Don't agitate me with that little ass nap. I'm going to be mad as hell. Because you be like, you go to sleep for two hours, and then you wake up, and it's like, I don't want to do anything now. I'm so chill. The day is so... Nope. We lit. We lit. I ain't going to hold Keep you. I have definitely taken a 30-minute cat nap and been like... Really? All right, it's time to take over the world. Let's, Let's go. go. Let's get it. Okay, Depending on the amount of alcohol that was consumed in brunch slash day there, party. There. We sleep in the car, though. You know, sleep Shh, sleep listen. Car. As soon as the car pull off, you be like, slumped. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, the number of times that I be like, slumped. All right, go to brunch. Everybody's like, yeah, we're going to be there. Uh, guys? <laughs> um... Okay, driving by myself. I'm gonna oh, to oh my God, that was me. That was, that was me the other night. We was coming back and I was driving. I was like, okay, you guys, we're getting the car. I looked back, everybody was asleep. Why I was I, like, why would I be up for this? So I'm going to try. Okay. You cut the music all the way up, crack a window because you're trying to make it. <laughs> I have trust in you, is what that means. Okay. I, oh, no, if a person got to trust you. Go to sleep in the car with you drunk. I trust you because. <laughs> That I been Uber. Oh, you okay. <laughs> that one up. hit. Put your hands up. Put your hands up. Your hands up. <laughs> I have been up in Ubers, like drunk, like okay, taking over home, be responsible. You might try and kill me. I'm staying up for this whole. I don't care how long the ride is. I'd be like, I'm up. Somebody is gonna text me. I'm gonna. The only to time I went to it. sleep in an Uber is when I was with somebody else. Mm-hmm. Like if I'm tipsy yeah, and that other person is like, I'm that good. Is. I'm be like, nap. Yeah. Take it over the world. But most of the time, even then, I'd be like, either ride with somebody. Like, don't go places where you, if you know you're going to get messed up and then you can't, like, trust somebody there to either stay there or drive you, just don't go. Because everybody's trying to be in Ubers acting crazy. Okay. Okay. Girl, talk. No, I, I tried it again. Nope. I don't know why you do it. <laughs> I'm not going to do it. I don't remember the key. I'm sorry. Work that body. Okay, work okay, that well, body. I'll do the girl talking. You do the work that body. Why you got me doing a hard part? It's class act. Girl. <laughs> she does not remember. I'm so sorry. Okay. All right. No, seriously. Girl talk. Okay. What you got for me? Gold digging. 
as a concept. That was Kanye. I ain't saying she a gold digger. The head. The broke the head. Tracy Ellis Ross in that video. Oh, yeah, Let's yeah, yeah. She's so fine. She's just been honey along in the video together. Just said, fine. Whew. Just fine Blessing black women. Okay. Blessing everybody TV screens Love and YouTube you. channels. We I don't know. But how do you, what is the idea behind like gold digging versus like I just have financial standards, right? So it's always like, a, oh, if like you want somebody with money or you say like if you can't do this or you can't, then like, Where's the line drawn? I think gold, gold digger. digger comes more from a woman that don't have much and is seeking for a guy with money to take care of them more of. Like, I don't feel like a woman who has her own money okay. is gold digging when she's looking for a man who match her swag. Okay. I don't think that's gold digging. I feel like, you know, you just like, okay, let us be in the same brand. But a person whose sole purpose is like I'm only dating you because so in that sense, like okay. if that person runs out of money, you be like, and I'm out. Okay, so it's like the after effects more though, because like if I don't have no money, but I'm still like I want my partner to be able to like, what if I'm raised? How where... you want more for them than you want for yourself? Okay, like so, that's the so problem. This is, this is why I brought this up because culturally, I feel like that is something that Black women get taught, right? They're like, oh, you have to have equal, or you can't ask for it. But then you have like every other race of women where it's like the man is they supposed train. to provide and it does not matter. <laughs> yeah. you, don't, you can never have worked a day in your life, family, not have nothing. And if a man comes to marry you, you're supposed to have, like you're supposed to take care of me. And nobody questions it. Like you not going to walk up to somebody and be like, oh, like you never finna walk up to an Asian woman and be like, do you consider yourself a gold digger because you expect your husband to have money no matter what her job is? She going to be like, no, and and, and Why culturally, are you trying to get married, sir. <laughs> culturally, I guess, but I'm saying in general, if my whole purpose is to seek a man for what he can provide me financially, mm -hmm. fuck your brains, fuck what you do, fuck anything else about you, what your money look like, I think that's a little gold diggery. And then especially if it get down, to, if if that's the first thing that come out your mouth and we're like, oh, we're going out to eat, right? Mm -hmm. And you should be you you going out, you like, uh, really. We're going here. But what if that's my expectation? Like, what if it's like, this what you try? Sweet down. So what's more important, where this person take you or the person himself? Like, if this person is a great mentally, intellectually, all this other stuff, and he go, and he, okay. and say he, ch and not saying that this is right to do, but say he go, you know what, I'm going to take you to Fridays. Just to see if you're going to be uh, Fridays. There. Or he take you to Fridays today. You like I love Fridays. And then next week you at Ruth Chris or whatever the hell you consider to be expensive. Okay, fair. But I'm saying it from the standpoint of like, what if like me saying what is you talking about Fridays? That is that makes sense for me. Like if I am taught that my lifestyle or I have decided that this is the lifestyle I want, right? So like lifestyle choice. Mm -hmm. This is the level of like financial stuff I want to do. Mm -hmm. This is the like type of life experience that I would like to have. I don't necessarily think it's always gold digging if I say, I'm not going to go sit in nobody Fridays. If that is truly, like, not what you're going to do. Like, if I go sit in Fridays by myself and you say, we finna go to Fridays and then I try and act like, oh, I'm better than that, I don't, then that's a problem. Okay. But if I'm genuinely like, I do not eat at these put your food in the microwave establishments, what is you talking about? And you say, like, but, oh, okay, just I think with that's me. dependency. In that sense, it's you going, this is specifically not something I like. And not that, oh, you can't afford to take me somewhere But else. I feel like that would still be, people would say that that's gold digging. Like, if somebody just says, I'm not eating at Fridays. Like, I don't do that. That's three-star higher. We're not doing no Fridays, okay? If somebody's going to say, like, you're a gold digger, you should But see, that, no, nope, I don't consider people. that to be a gold. If I'm saying, like, I don't like microwavable food, and I was just saying, I'm not, no shade Fridays. No shade I really Fridays. much enjoy Fridays. I just use you for example. We like but... Fridays. I can go to a Friday's and then I can go to a STK. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like steakhouse. So I'm, I'm just saying if that person is like, I just really don't eat commercial or whatever you want to call it mm -hmm. type of food. I prefer this type of thing. That's one thing. But if a person's like, Fair. oh, honey, you can't afford to take me other places. Yeah, but then if they like, you can't afford to take me no place else and Who's I want to go. <laughs> <laughs> like, I feel like that's. 
Truth be told, like, that's the tricky thing. Like, I agree that gold digging in a sense of, like, if you don't spend a certain amount of money on me, I'm going to leave. Or if you go broke, I'm not going to stand by your side. Oh, okay, you bought sure. me um the Gucci bag, but it was I really want a Chanel. Yeah, like, shit like that to me. But it's people, okay, so this is why I be like, financial expectation, right? <laughs> because it's people that that's their life. So if that's what I aspire to be, like, if I see a career that I want, you're going to be like, imitate, study, do with this person. So if I'm like, I want their lifestyle, if the bitch says she don't go to Fridays, <laughs> guess who not finna go to Fridays if that's the type of life that I want? She don't go to Fridays now. <laughs> but she might not have never, so I want to pretend that I don't go to Fridays, not never in my life. Like, I'm trying to <laughs> imitate what I want as my lifestyle. Like, I, why? I, I, I get that. I just go digging Because there women. are some men also, okay, that be like... I'm not going lower than a certain standard. Yeah. With you. So yeah. like they don't consider like they wouldn't consider it gold digging. They would just be like, oh, this makes sense. Like I'm ex- I'm expecting if I date you and I'm interested in you that like you're a certain I hate to say quality or level, but like this is what I'm gonna do for the woman that I want to date. And if you expect less than that, they gonna be like, maybe we should not talk. So they don't consider that gold digging. So then do we just shift away from, like, the men who want to take you to Fridays to the men who only take you to... How does... It, who decides in a situation, like, oh, hey, okay, it's gold digging? I guess... Are you dating this person for what they can provide to you? Or are you dating them because you like that person? And say they're not yes. where you... Say they're not where you want them to be financially... But you see where they're going. Does that matter? Does that change? And you be like, oh, I see they're in school, taking they working full time, they do school. I see where they're going. I can stick by this man. I love this man. Da, da, da. Or is it like you should be here when I meet you? And if you're not, I'm not doing it. I feel like that that, that is what I think depends on where you're at in life, right? Mm-hmm. So, like, if at a time where I was still in school, mm-hmm. I met somebody and I was like, you're in school, I see you working, grinding, and building, that is very different than like, Oh, okay, like now I'm in a space where I'm like, you want to be married, you want to be in a relationship, whatever, and you're looking for your compatible partner. Mm-hmm. Because if I'm looking for my compatible partner, and this is like one of my criteria is I would like to be taken care of, right? Then you have to have that already. I, I, because then if I get what you like on a hope and a dream. But if you are an established person and this is what you look for, I don't consider that to be gold digging. I'm a person to me who's gold digging, the person who ain't, they down here. They don't have shit. They can't even offer you the same shit they want from you. Okay, but like, what? that's fair. And that's you, fair. You want Birkin bags, and you can't buy yourself a fucking Birkin bag. But I feel <laughs> that, that, okay, that shit but by- that is my point, that I don't <laughs> consider that always golding. I think specifically for me, how I also want this up is really because, like, I feel like black women get told that, like, we are not allowed to ask for things just because we don't have them or didn't do them for ourselves. I don't think most races of women outside of black women get taught that. Mm-hmm. I don't think you're going to meet a white girl and she's going to be like, I can't ask you for a Birkin bag because I ain't bought myself one. That was an example. But I they didn't. Gonna, no, but I'm saying, <laughs> but I'm like, just like, if I, I have nothing, told, I don't feel oh, like... you got to, like, supposed- stand there and help them build or you got to be patient and hope... Mm. Or, like, if you aren't this place in life, then you're not supposed to ask for X, Y, and Z, but, like... But y'all also tell me that he's supposed to take care of me. And but if, me, why would I not expect to have the things that I want? I don't know. I think it's just, like responsibility wise in my head like, that I be thinking of because I'm just like if I don't have anything and all I'm looking for is a come up I'm on search of a man to come, to, on come up I'm on some gold digging shit like I am now if I met a man who was fi- financially this type of way and I am just met him he was cool like I wasn't searching for a man to provide for me you gave me money whether I got little or a lot I wasn't searching for you then I'm like Oh, I just met you, and you just happened to have some money. But we hit it off. I'm not dating you because you have money. Okay. <clears throat> so it's just like a matter of how. I guess the scenario it. or the situation or. I don't know because I'm. <laughs> you know, like there are groups of women. Who <laughs> that was rude. Like, I'm sorry. Oh, you I felt like it was like shoo 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 shoo. I'm not. I'm not here. <laughs> um, but there. Okay, so it's like women who even when they go to school. Mm-hmm. They go with expectation of like, who's gonna be my baby daddy? 
based on whatever criteria of I want my husband, like some people like, oh, I want to be like in a political family. Mm -hmm. So that's a good example, right? Okay. If it's like, I want to, I'm a political family and I want to be in a political family. Doesn't matter how much money I have, but I know that like, I want to marry a politician, right? I'm going to look for a person who is already in that pathway. Gotcha. Question. Do you think <clears throat> that the women mm -hmm. who go to like the NBA All-Star Games, uh -huh. specifically like, I'm finna toot, poo, pop, poo. Yeah. Do you can do you consider no women like on a prowl of like on some gold digging shit or I don't you just consider like that gold digging? I consider them hard working women. <laughs> no. Okay. Come on, terminology. They have to use what they got to, to get, get what, what they, they want. want, and they have a very specific set of skills that they use it. And do y'all shit, my mama? Because obviously it works. They still host all star games and they make sure that it's those women. Mm -hmm are going to be there. So that's a job. Having to get up and have the energy and dress a certain way and look a certain way and position yourself a certain way to go like network is essentially what you're doing all night long and trying to like, I don't like networking when I can wear gym shoes and sweatpants. I'm not a networking I person. Like, I, I be trying. I feel like we've been trying. I be trying. <laughs> we be out I, here. Out of like functionality, I know I need to do it. Right? Yeah. For somebody to be able to do that consistently, and that means you fly to different places, you purposely got to do research on where these, that is a job. You is, that's the same thing I would do if I'm like, oh, I want a full-time job nine to five somewhere. I got to research the company, go to that. Okay. <laughs> that's what you do. That's your job. I don't consider that gold digging because y'all know why they there and they know why they there. And you keep wanting them to be there, so. <laughs> Not you keep wanting them to be there. Because if, okay. if they didn't, like, that's why I'm like, is it gold digging? Because if the other parties who have money did not want these things to occur, they would not. Because then you could just not give people your money. They be trying. You could but be like, it's not important. Me spending, you mon spending money on you is not important. I want to get to know you. That's not what you do. You'd be like, you want to come get on my yacht? See, I was like, yes. yes. Which I yacht do. are we referring to? <laughs> what size yacht? What does it look like? And we're back for snake bites. <laughs> I don't know how much of that is in the beginning, but here we are. That was mid sit, ma'am. <laughs> don't know where this cat call came from. Mm -hmm. It's my inner tigress. She's just being there. Ready to come out. I mean, that's appropriate for our accidentally our matching accidental ass matching episode. episode. We twins this today. Man. Accidentally. It wasn't on purpose at all. It was like, I came in, she came in. Oh. So that's what we doing. That's what the day is. The day told us we're cheetah girls. We like it. Cheetah coming at ya. I don't know the rest of the song. That is not. That's Cleopatra. Is that not oh Cleopatra man, that coming girls. at ya? Cleopatra they girls. coming at ya. Cleopatra should have been cheetah girls. They probably too old. But no, when cheetah at girls the time, came out, yeah. no, them babies was like 14, 15, 16 yeah, or something like that. Yeah, they should have been the cheetah girls. Technically, I, they look closer to if you read the books. They look closer to who the Cheetah Girls should have been. Because it was a set of twins. You read the Cheetah Girl books. I read the Cheetah Girl books. Some of them came with CDs in the back, the little mini CDs. It was like, yay big. And I would play them as I read the book. So I can make sure that I had the correct ambiance to listen to the Cheetah Girls and read them, okay? Hear their voices. Because it was like, it was an actual group. That's okay, I ain't gonna hold you. When Raven Simone and Keely came on, and Adrian, what is Adrian? Mm -hmm. Okay, I was like, who is these efforts? Because this is not the Cheetah Girls. They already have albums out. I'm confused as to what's happening here. What year was the Cheetah? I think I'm just out. I don't think I was there. Um, like Cheetah Girls came out, and I was like, meh. I don't think I've seen a, a single Cheetah Girl a movie. I saw them randomly because of like I had younger cousins. Mm, who that like, makes okay. more sense. Oh, three, yeah. Oh, see, yeah, was, no. I was watching with. Not at all. I was out here. I didn't watch the he... Cheetah Girls until I was older. Like, I was watching it with my younger cousins. Because, like, oh, girl power. This is so nice. Here you go. Disney movies for you. I love the good Disney movie. I just wasn't but watching the, the Cheetah Girl. Oh, okay. It was a set of twins. Okay, one of them was named Aquafina. So, when we came. But that's Keely, right? Yeah, but she's supposed to be a twin. She's specifically supposed to be a brown-skinned twin. I don't understand. Who Disney? 
Y'all cast it, okay? They was on the book cover for you. Let me tell you why. Yeah, it's really hard for people who read the original of anything and see the the movie, TV show of something. Because your mindset is already on what you read. And most of the time, they don't do that in the show. And I say that meaning like Game of Thrones. A lot of people was like, yeah. you know, the books is fantastic. The show is cool, but they like it other than the last couple of seasons. But yeah, whatever, whatever. The Avatar The Last Airbender, if you watch that cartoon, that movie pissed you off. Well, but that's because <laughs> the movie sucked. Yeah, but the people who never watched the cartoon enjoy the freaking movie. No, I don't know how that's a thing. I've, and a lot of people, anybody that's like, oh, I enjoy it. I'm like, how are you enjoying that this? That was a trash movie. I, I Just from, like, movie agree. standpoint. I, I think it was trash solely because I know what it's supposed to be. First of all, let's nah, talk about nah, trash. how you have a whole cartoon reference and not and fuck up the character's name. Um, you got a whole reference. His name not is like Aang. Had, the nigga's name is Aang. Call him Aang. That not like, wait, not like you read a book and you wasn't sure on how it was pronounced. You're like, oh, it's going to be on. Uh, no, you had a whole yeah. reference with characters. It had audio. It told you his name was Aang. And y'all went this, this whole hour and a half movie, movie and called him Ah. Uh. They had Uncle Iroh. Uncle <laughs> Iroh. Iroh was up there. Yeah, what did they call him? Uh, Iroh. Like, like, they have whole names. Then you cast this skinny white man. <laughs> so, there was the casting of white people to play these clearly <laughs> non-white Asian Pacific Island characters. Like, the movie was just... Listen, every time, oh, I don't even know why I started that, because every time I think about The Last Airbender, they make my ass itch. They ruined a <laughs> very, they really ruined a very good, I can't. yo, listen, yo, I agree with you, and I wasn't even, pause, this is the part that pissed me off even more, it was supposed to be a 3D movie, my guy, okay, you go, no. the only thing that was in 3D was the words, okay, the words. Yeah, that's a fact. Like words coming at you live. You didn't want to give Dead me ass. the lightning bolts. You didn't want to give me a little water. The water. The I, a bird. Give me a bird. It's just whoo, no nothing. You, you can't. Be, you, your title can't noise. be Avatar. That's my bird noise. Don't like, be in production. Don't be back there. <laughs> that's the bird. Don't do that. Flap. Got flap. It. Flap. <laughs> what it's supposed to do it's giving what it's supposed to give i don't have time for that it, okay? movie just pissed me off on so many levels it and was what trash. you know what what made it eat? okay not what made because there's so many parts that just made it worse and worse and worse i was like the but of the movie? it was an hour and a half an hour and a half the last airman was supposed to be given harry potter mm -hmm. they had everything there for a promising three movies for Fair. one for each book, you had the water, the fire, the you had it. It was there. It was it was gift wrapped and handed to you, signed, sealed, and delivered I'm with yours. the T. And you somehow found a way to f all this up. That man said, "I do not care about y'all little fans." And it was supposed to be a there. trilogy. It was supposed to be a trilogy. And they ended it. Not when he got done with it. <laughs> no, it wasn't. That man said, "I'm not." First of all, you knew he wasn't giving you a trilogy when he didn't bother to pronounce the names correctly. Listen. It ain't even that you changed the appearance of the characters. It ain't that. It's that you did not even bother to pronounce a name correctly. And my Appa. Let me tell Appa about top five, top three favorite characters of mine. Thank and you. you out here got Appa looking real stupid. I don't know. That, that wasn't even supposed to be my rant for today. It's okay. Because M. Night Shyamalan, we've been at your head about this for a long time. Because who told you to do that to the last airbender? It's been like 10 years. Never forget. <laughs> we ain't never going to forgive him for that. He can make all the scary movies that we enjoy. That Stick to those. Make. And I'm be like, you still trash though. Because the way you butchered. Like, because also, the fact that he does all these like thrillers and scary movies. Sir, you understand special effects. You understand that's it for me. special effects yes. to the extreme. And that's what you gave me in the Avatar? That's it makes me nervous. Like I want them to do it over because I put some respect on the last Airbender name. It's supposed to be out here Harry Potter in it. I'm yeah. supposed to go to somebody's Universal Studios and have a whole section mm. based on Avatar. Do you? I want Yo, to go. Hold on, because that would be lit. Let's not skirt past that. No, that would be absolutely lit. What? And then you get to go to you all go to three nations. Stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. I had Bruh. it in my head. 
I had it and in my they, head. Ooh, ooh, if they did like a little excursion where you do like a little, like, the ma'am, little sing, like, where you find stuff and then you got to find ma'am. Listen, ruined, <laughs> ruined. Listen, yeah, he messed up. And it makes me nervous. I think Netflix has now picked it up and they're doing a live version of something of another. And I'm just like, Netflix I don't be okay with their movies sometimes. They do, but I'm just like, I, I can't. I, I see it sometimes. That's some, some of the You times. can't. Please don't butcher my show. Okay, so we are gonna go into shouting out to our Chicago teams. All right, gang, gang, gang. We see y'all out here putting on in the most random of ways. Yes. Okay, you got our boy Armand Shepherd. We see you. I'm gonna okay. say it like that because he is his own person. He's his own but person. But for those who don't know his name, that's Tiana, Tiana Taylor's Taylor husband. husband. Tiana Taylor, and baby daddy. <laughs> um, big tall man played. He played the basketball. He played but the no, basketball. Y'all don't care. Okay, but he's actually from Chicago. Never played on Chicago though. Nah, he did. Which is, which is what he be. We be dropping he played a ball. At Chicago. He didn't play during the time of Chicago. Really, really having trash front management because why y'all ain't bring that boy home? Imagine bring him all and our babies home. Imagine That's him really how I be looking at it. <laughs> like Amon Shumper and Derrick Rose on the same team. I would have been like. I'm here for this. I be one of the Chicago Bulls team that's all Chicago people. Because ain't nobody going to go harder for our city than our own people. Chicago Chicago dudes playing Chicago ball? Bruh. Oh, baby. Bruh. I'll be like, we're taking over. This, that's it. That's enough said. Okay. But Chicago Bulls is out here doing we are, we the shit. We see. Oh, no. I can't tell you their record. I wasn't the last time I checked. It was like, yeah. I was going to say 12 and 5. I was close. Okay, last time I saw it, it was somewhere around there. Doing fan- fantabulous. But I mind ass footwork his way He's to victory. He's doing fantabulous and dancing. He footwork his way to victory on Dancing he with the Stars. The on the national television. He hit the footwork. Okay. And, no, here's the part that took me out. I don't know about anybody else. It's when he held her ponytail. Because I could not. Yes. I could not. He was like, here, hit that. Like, <laughs> I was like, yo. She you- was just funny to look at because... Clearly, this is not your. This is not your dance, but he said I'm making that champion. Listen, and did, and did. listen. And I was like, we talked about this at some point where I was like, can we bring back the Chicago man who dance the Chicago? And he is the prime example, yes. sir. I know you were at the rink. Yes. I know you was at somebody juke party yes. on a regular basis. Okay, I know you was at the school dances with the clear them out, clear them out. Okay, I am proud of you. Yeah. Damn it. But outside of just the footwork and part, all of his dances his, he was a, yes. from the, throughout the show was great. Yes, he did but, an amazing um, job. Yeah, he did it. So shout out to Iman. And he won, brought the championship home. And, okay, and. we don't say home to Chicago. I know that uh, he, Tiana that moved you to some other places. Yes, you know. but home is here. Home is here. So you brought championship home. We appreciate you. When he hit the 40s, I don't know the joy that was established in my heart. I didn't know that I needed <laughs> it. It was the, it was. And he tall, so you know him yeah, hitting yeah. the 40s as a tall It was dude. the footwork, and then actually watching her do the footwork. I was like, you it know was what? It out additional people to, did she get the footwork? I was like, who, who house arrest member is on stage? Like, like, who oh, final oh, phase oh, person? Oh, is on the stage. Where is House Arrest and Final Phase now? Phase. Like, where they at? Can we get <laughs> House Arrest is still. Where's Mr. Pope? I can't speak for Final Phase. I don't know anybody in that organization. But House Arrest is still out here thriving. Okay. With like, yeah, that's good to know. Like 100 chapters. Like, they out here living their best life. Okay, 100 chapters. is exaggerated, but they have but chapters. But they had chapters everywhere. Yeah. Probably. Like, they like were, every day, man, like every HBCU probably got like, a chapter. South, yeah. It's like... Anybody who was from Chicago who danced the house arrest, if you went away to school, you're starting a chapter. Right? Yes, yes, that's what contract. it was. Like, yes. It's fine. It's doing yes. It. So but I'm glad to know they're still on and popping. I was like, did you get some of Missy dances? Did you get the choreographer? Like, who did we get to put this show together? But it was amazing. He probably did it from his own memory. Like, Listen, this is what we would do. I loved attention. watching Tiana's or hearing Tiana's reaction on Instagram. And baby, not baby, she grown. And Junie in the background. Can we talk about Junie? Well, Did you see her? How is Junie and Blue Ivy not BFFs? Because in my head, that I makes think sense. They haven't crossed paths yet. That I think makes they're sense. Waiting on them to like let them develop their own personalities and stuff. They both and have then, their like, personalities now that they're established. They're gonna have like a little kitty networker. Well, Junie a little bit younger too, right? Yeah. Okay. So they're gonna be a little kitty networker, and they're gonna become BFFs there. That's what Ooh, I. Ooh, child! In ten years, when it's like new black Hollywood, gonna be lit. <laughs> Okay, our kids' generations of mm. wonderfulness. Mm. But did you see Junie at Tiana Taylor's concert? No. Where she said, if you cut my song off again, I'm going to fight you. 
And I said, now nah, I got hands. She said, Judy said, she said that hands. to who? To whoever was stopping the music. Okay, I don't know why they had to pause. And she was on stage with her mama. And I guess it's a song where she's like gonna do her little part on the song or whatever. And That's so cute. It's real cute. You know, it reminds me of little daughter moment. Yeah. And Tiana Taylor talking to the crowd or whatever. Like, y'all need to be a little louder than that. And Junie was like, yeah, I need to hear y'all. Heard what she said and played with her. Okay. <laughs> and then she was like, you know, I don't know, like the music's on. Whatever. And if you stop my music, whoever stop my music again, I'm going to punch you. Ma'am. <laughs> Madam. Miss Hotler. Get your missus. What's happening there? Is, and and Tiana Taylor literally could not do nothing but laugh. Like she get it from her mama. This is what I would have. Obviously, that's what I'm going with. It was one of them. Huh. This is what like we know Blue Ivy does because we see. Shut y'all. Blue Ivy. Blue Ivy. Blue Ivy. Blue Ivy. Okay, quiet it down. We don't need all. I said <laughs> simmer down. You're on your way. You're on your way, man. Makes sense to me. Hmm. Okay. Did you see the um, Holly Berry interview with Young and May? I did not see the interview. No, I seen um, them together. That's what I got. I ain't got no more. That's what I saw. So Halle Berry is low key the auntie that we all love, and you'd be like hoping comes to the family functions because that's the only person you're gonna talk to. Yeah, you're gonna have a good time. Listen, okay. So all her videos, like she twerks with Meg. She she dance. She twerked with Lotto too. Twerks with Lotto. She be out here putting on for like all the new women in the music industry. Like, oh this. (laughs) <laughs> okay, I'm gonna skirt past. Um, but like she puts one for Cardi all the time. She's mm-hmm. like, love her, she's great, love her personality. So she did this interview with Young and May, and it was like, you know, like random questions, right? And one of the questions was, what's um like a weird thing that turns you on that most people would think is like strange or whatever? Okay, okay? Young and May sitting there trying her best because the Holly of the Berry is next to her. Halle Berry. Halle Berry. Halle Berry. Halle Berry. Berry. And Halle Berry is always with shit. Like when it comes to hip hop, like her naming song, she's like, I appreciate it. Respect it, love hip hop. Okay? So she, you know, young and may ask a question. You know, had her little stunner shades on because I don't need to look you in your eye, ma'am. You're not going <laughs> to fucking voodoo me. That was what happened. And Halle Berry goes, Well, I don't know if this is weird or strange, but it's something I like. And a lady gonna tell her, you gonna sit next to Young and May, okay? Which what I'm gonna did say, she this. say The lady yeah. said, <clears throat> I like when, you know, when you kiss somebody and then they suck your tongue. This is how she said it. I'm gonna say it how she said it. You know, when you're kissing and then the person just like sucks your tongue, I like it. Like it just. Next to the whole of the MA, who was like, huh. Huh. <laughs> like, the whole, like, and Holly Berry is like, in Holly Berry form. Not, I don't even think she was meaning to do it, uh-huh. but you're Holly Berry. Right. So she's sitting here like, yeah, I like when my son gets sucked. And like, and Young and May is like, that's not weird. <laughs> yeah, that's, um, she literally was like, yeah, I'm okay. No, yeah, um, mental note. That's not weird. Not all, mental note. <laughs> like she trying so hard to not be like. Do you wanna build a snowman? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, oh, because okay, this is gonna be random girl talk moment. This is very very random. Okay, we're gonna have an honesty moment. Here. Okay, let's talk about it. There are some, some okay studs because I think that's the example of some who would be like. You know what, man? Listen, listen. You know, I have somehow found my way to. You know, I'm, is that appropriate word? I think to say? so. Yes, yes, yes. Um, yes. TikTok. Okay. Mm, yeah, 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 yeah. Who? Shit! I really be looking. <laughs> I really be looking at some of these women like I am straight. <laughs> I I like demand. And I okay. So this is where my like my knowledge of sexual language masculine because like, I feel like masculine. I like masculinity yeah and the masculine thing that you getting out right now you know who Chile I'm you know, I ain't gonna put my fave on the L but I got this one nah. 
I, I got you. this one. Woo, yeah, yeah, Okay, let me see. Stalker. I right, stalk. Let me see how I got trapped into <laughs> the lesbian fucking uh, Instagrams and the TikToks, okay? It was a challenge, right? <laughs> the challenge was to tie a string. Oh, you t- <laughs> with Okay, you had to tie a string with your tongue, mm-hmm. right? Like, had to tie. And I was looking at, like, just, it randomly popped up. So it was like men doing it, men doing it. And, you know, you scroll, you're scrolling, but once you get to a reel or whatever. And then I came across this video. And it was a dude who did it. And he was like, you know, took a little time. But he got, and I said, no, that's nice. You got a nice face. I can see myself sitting here. That's so beautiful. Okay. And then it cut, you know, it cuts to the other person. Like, you don't know what you're doing. So it cut to this um, nice, wonderful woman. Came in and in 3.5 seconds, 3.5 seconds is what it took her to do this. And I said, Well, wait the goddamn minute because one plus one is 16, and if you carry the three and then divide by out by, I feel like technically I should not feel bad about this because I'm like, At this point, I am excited and I should not be, I should not be, but it is not my fault that you can do these things. Switch up. How long do you have to practice to do that? What are, what are you capable of? That's that even, question. I don't even know that I want that type of energy in my life. What are you capable of? Mm. Like, this is not a cherry stem. This is a whole, like, shoe string. Like it's you, a whole shoe It's a shoe string, like an actual, like, shoe string, and you have to, like, pull it through. And she said... How long is said string? It was like this. And she was like. She put all of it in her mouth? No, she didn't need to. <laughs> it's the kicker. That was the kicker. She didn't have none of the struggles that everybody else was going with. She said, Juju, here's your knife. And I said, huh. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Um, Listen, I'm, I'm just going to say and not follow you cuz you're I'm not just say that I I am a straight woman and I I see myself with men, but sometimes, child, sometimes I'd be like but it ain't she, my fault. she's so and I don't mean this in a disrespect way, so don't take it that way, but I'd be like she's so handsome. My Let's God. Let's talk about it. And they be knowing you has you know what you did when you did what you did. Okay. <laughs> Listen, absolutely. Coming out here and then it be clean. Which get ups, which is okay. You're not gonna, I'm not gonna fall for the mm, okie dokes. Not job. falling for it, okay. nope. But yeah, so Young and Bay was sitting there trying to keep, trying to keep said composure. Okay, just like, huh? And I would like a follow up interview. I need somebody to interview <laughs> Young and Bay and be like, what was going through your head? Did you shoot your shot afterwards? It should be like Holly Berry. Let's go out for because I feel like she could. I like, feel like Holly is a good time though. Like yeah. let's go out. Let's have a good time. I mean like fun. Like she's fun. Mm-hmm. I feel like if Young and May had been like, you want to go out? She'd be like, yeah, let's go. And I don't know whose life would have got changed that night, but <laughs> love for all we know, Holly could be out here changing lives. Quit playing. I would believe it. You I know what? I just it. watched her movie Bruised on the Netflix. Was it good? I haven't watched it yet. Um. I'll be honest. Okay. I dozed off a little bit. From being tired? Was the movie long? Was it slow? Um so it was a little slow. Okay. And me and the other unofficial official WCW member. Okay, Shady. We we was like, you know, drinking and watching it or whatever, nothing major. So I kinda just dozed off on it. But all in all, if you don't know what it's about, she is a former like fighter. UM is it UM? UFC. 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 Thank you. Um, like a I was former like MMA or UFC. Yeah, one of the two or a combination. Have you? I don't know what they called it in a movie. Like you know, they make a make a thing. She was a fighter. She um she was in there. She ended up getting her ass whooped. Just the intro. She ended up getting her ass whooped. Real talk. And she lead a fighting game. That and she's trying to live this regular ass, degular ass life. And um, her boyfriend is her manager. He's trying to convince her to get back into rapping. And then out of nowhere, the son that she gave away like ten years ago, whatever amount, of, like seven years ago, however many years, pops back up because the father dies. I think there is so much. And so now, yeah. So she Rewind. has this. Okay, she was a rapper. rapper. Not a rapper, a fighter. Oh, fighter. You said rapper. That's a rapper. Like, oh, I'm sorry. I meant fighter. So I'm so sorry. On the brain. No. <laughs> It's 
I'm sorry. She was a fighter. I apologize. I thought I said fighter. She was a fighter. She got her ass whooped. She left the game. Okay. Her boyfriend slash manager is trying to get her back into the okay. game. She's a little, you know, don't want to really get into it. Okay, and okay. then her child that she gave away, well, not gave away, but gave to the father. Like, she mm-hmm. stepped away from being a mom and ends up coming back. The son does not talk the entire fucking movie, okay? He like, no. Um, <laughs> and she's in this place of having this terrible, terrible ass boyfriend slash manager, mm-hmm. um, not being financially stable where you want to be. You want to get back fighting, but you kind of scared. And now you got a kid to take care of, and you don't have a good job, and your mama can't. You know what I'm saying? It's like all these scenarios that's happening. See, I feel like financial responsibility. She should have just found a man who was going to take her to STK and sponsor her career. Look, see? <laughs> Full circle. Full, it makes sense. It makes sense. Date above. Like, that's what I'm trying to get to. Help me help you help me. <laughs> that might help us. Okay, that's what we're going to go with. So, that's, I mean, that's the premise without me telling you too much of the movie. But it's not a bad movie. It's a good movie. I might watch it. My only thing is, how old is Halle Berry? Like, 50? 50? Something. I just felt like at 50, you wouldn't still be fighting. Well, was she playing younger? Or was she I'm sure herself? she was playing younger, but She's Halle... 55. Halle 55? But Halle Berry's 55. Did she look 55 in the movie? She looked 45. <laughs> okay. That's fair. So with that said, I just don't think you would It don't make be, sense for her. Yeah, to be, like, to be playing a role. Like, did Hallie play her job? Absolutely. Don't get me wrong. But well, I then, just like. So it seems like it's more of like a Rocky feel because we all know like by Rocky 2, the man shouldn't have been in the ring in the first place because of age. So is that what it is? Like, I mean, in a movie, you don't know her age. Like, I don't think they mm-hmm. acknowledge how old she actually is. But I'm like, I know Hallie is at a certain age. And not that you don't look good for 55 because, mama, you do. But. But we don't say she was supposed to be like 30 something. Because that's and, still for fighting wise, you should have. Yeah, but. She looked 40, they probably tried to get her to play at 30. Okay. That's what I'm going to go with. That's what I'm going to go with. Speaking okay. of fights. Who fought? <laughs> <laughs> if y'all saw. Oh. <laughs> okay, if y'all saw LeBron and Isaiah of the Stewarts. <laughs> First of all, why the Pistons always start stuff they, with people? Listen. The, it's Listen. always Detroit. Y'all need to calm and the Pacers down. and the Pacers too. It's both of them. Yeah, Indiana. Yeah. Yeah. Was fight, but it was Detroit, Detroit. Detroit. Oh, I know that. Needs to calm down. Like y'all, listen. We get it. The city is in turmoil. Y'all water <laughs> supply. They need to fix it. They did, I think, actually do that. They finally okay. updated okay. the system. Thank you. Praise God. And people, blessed be the fruits. Okay, but Detroit for a long, long time in the basketball of the world has just. Y'all are just reckless. They just be like, <laughs> fuck, we fighting this. Okay. Okay. All this okay. shit. So in this moment, and I am not like, LeBron is talented. LeBron is a nice human being. Don't know him personally. But as a ball player, he is not my favorite. Like, I think he, statistically, yes, one of the best. As a player, not my judge. Not okay. going to be on team defend LeBron all the time. Okay. And now I got to defend LeBron now. <laughs> because like the people who had to come for Amanda Seals back, they already fuck with her, but I'm going to have to defend you in this you. moment. Yeah, yes. so I have to defend him because <clears throat> Isaiah Stewart, in the play, what is happening is somebody else is going up with the ball. Okay, LeBron is there. Isaiah Stewart is there. Isaiah Stewart is already finna foul the person with the ball. I don't remember who had it, but you already finna commit this foul. At that point, LeBron is falling, okay, and you also trying to push him. So in him getting his grip, he kind of do one of these, you know, like a get off, get me. off me. And in doing that, which is he a big nigga. he's a big dude, <laughs> and he's strong. But also with a because K. he was falling, and also because Isaiah Stewart is already finna foul somebody, so you're in a weird position. When he do one of these, he ends up busting this man's nose. Okay, I'm talking about bloody drip. Trip, 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 trip. I don't think it was on purpose. I, I mean, from what I saw, it didn't look intentional. But so. Isaiah Stewart said, "I'm bleeding." So now you somebody want to fight gotta the die. LeBron. Somebody <laughs> gotta die. All right. So now you trying to fight the LeBron of the James. I'm not fighting okay. LeBron. Do you see him? I ain't gonna hold you though, because all of them is big. So I nah, like... but LeBron got a whole different kind of workout ethnic, like. I'm not, I'm not Isaiah fighting. Stewart was like, I'm going to fight anybody and everybody. Like, it's one of them, like, I don't care how big you are, you can get taken down. I'm not Which I respect LeBron. that. I yeah. respect that. Like, if you can get it, you can get it. I don't care. about. Okay, it's the fact that, like, 
My man's trying to push past the team. He pushed past all of the coaches, knocked the referee over, made his way to LeBron. Still didn't reach him. Because it's LeBron. Still did not reach him. Okay, and I'm just like, wow. Then you got like half of the <laughs> half of the team is like, what's good? We ready to go. Gang, gang, gang. gang. gang and gang. I was like, okay. You finna get you finna get beat up, bro. Like you're not even, <laughs> you're not even gonna get to fight LeBron. Like that's the thing about it. Like we gonna protect gonna, him at all. Who calls. was in the back? I can't even think of who was in the back. It was really really. No, Russell Westbrook. Let me tell you something. That little come I mean, here. We're not gonna do that. No, you. That's what he did. He was not gonna fight nobody. I don't know what. Like I feel like he did that to make a mockery out of him. Like sir, you look crazy. Okay. I can't remember who it was. I'll figure it out off air. But somebody actually was like, I'm going to run it. Like, if you want to fight, we can fight. And I said, wow, this is, here's what I, where Isaiah Stewart went wrong. Okay. And I was like, you really want us to get your ass beat. Okay. They separate them. Because he was, like, charging, constantly charging. And LeBron wasn't even on some, like, I'm going to fight you. He's like, I, it, he apologized. He immediately was like, my bad, when it happened. Which is what the confusion of you being annoyed. And still remain calm while he's getting charged at, which is the only reason I say you might not have won this struggle. Because if you charge it at me and I'm calm, that means I know I'm going to beat your ass. That's <laughs> what that means. Try me if you want if to. If I see you coming towards me and I'm like, you probably want to stop. You probably, because I'm, that means. We go, we, it's about to be a problem. I'm excited about this, okay? Like, I've been waiting my whole life. That's what LeBron looked like. He was not worried about it. It's the fact that Isaiah Stewart, they both get ejected. That man beeline, you know, like in the back, the locker rooms are just the hallway. Mm -hmm. It ain't like it's too. Yeah. He beeline across the hallway trying to get to the locker room on him. You think you gonna come in my locker room? Mine. Mine. Well, my jersey hang. <laughs> it say my neck. You gonna come in here? Mine. With my people? Mine. And you was mine. No. Well, the answer is no. It just be in the moments of like. No. Stop making stupid decisions. Because from a theoretical standpoint, maybe catch him in the parking lot. Like, if he had to run up on him in the parking lot. Catch me outside. Him, catch me outside. But in the locker room with the rest of his team, you going to go over there by yourself? Did you have backup? No. Was your friends coming with you? I don't feel yeah. like nobody was coming with you. So you're just going to run in the ops. Yes. Like, run in the ops territory and be like, I got he, this. Adrenaline. He was in the moment. That's all he, he was tunnel visioned. This does not make sense. I said, zoom, this zoom. man. So, Sir, um, it doesn't make sense for you to do that. Don't do it again. It doesn't make sense, okay? Did you watch got... Alice at the Palace? No. Okay, so it's about the, um, with Metal World Peace. Okay. When they had gotten to it and his team was Oh, like, that thing. Okay, okay, okay. I seen a piece of that, I believe. They was like, we throwing hands. We a team. We throwing hands together. And I firmly We're all believe in this, this is what together. makes sense. They was like, oh, my boy got, we in the stands? Fuck it, we in the stands. <laughs> this is what happened. Yes. I said, you know what? We're all gonna have to pay penalties. Might as well. Which was a whole ordeal because people don't realize that like the fans really did start that a lot of them yeah, got yeah, charged yeah. or whatever. This was just a sign. <clears throat> you know you you was gonna get a penalty, you got ejected, you was probably gonna get suspended for a game. You ran across the hallway trying to get to the locker room. You finna be suspended for like twelve games. And then you did it to the LeBron or the James who you know is petty. LeBron got a whole coach fired. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, LeBron had a whole coach replaced because he didn't like the fact that he told him to do a play that he didn't want to do. Got his allegedly. Home. LeBron Un be out allegedly. here like mafia style puppeteering. I want this person over here. You gonna send three this way, and you okay. ran up. That's who you decide. You not finna have a career. You finna get traded. Be careful, son. Somewhere careful. crazy. They gonna bench you. You never gonna play <clears throat> again. Like. Don't do that to yourself. But he did. You're not going to have another chance to because... <laughs> he did. Also, KD was very ashy. <laughs> we ain't going to skirt past that because we talk about the NBA. Why that man don't put on those? He said, I put on the pots you going to see. I don't know mm -hmm. what you want from me. We see you got ankle socks on. You always wear ankle socks. <laughs> and then you wore your new shoes. They slid down a little bit. You want to see that part. You want to see that part. It's the cold outside. Now put on some lotion, y'all. Look, coke but it's, it's cold, cold outside. outside. Vaseline. So don't, don't be out here and ask you to come out. It's cold. I did. I was in a rush. I wasn't thinking. I'm over here trying to make it work for you, sir. Nah, Try. nah, it's a no. You have a like. <laughs> 
You ever went out with somebody and then realized that they super, super ashy? No. I have. It's not a fun experience. Because it just makes so. me think you don't care about your life. You already know how I feel about... I went out in the day and that dude was flooded. <laughs> <laughs> and... Why are your pants so small? <laughs> Why are your pants? Pull your socks up! I do something! Why do we have capris? We don't like it. I was like, oh. Okay. Like either show your full ankle or don't. And like. It's not even in a place like today. This was forever and a day ago. But this was like, Ooh. you know how like the guys now wear a little more fitted pants. They might yes. have a dress shoe. You might have a little ankle. you be like, all right, cool. Nah, son. He had all like in the in the world sneakers on. Because <laughs> I'm gonna say gym shoes. He had on some gym shoes and like some like slacks or some shit. And I was like. This was the outfit that you decided this to, made sense to, you. to wear. And then it had the flood. He said in case we go wade in the water. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> wade in the waters. Wade in the water, children. Wade in the water. Guys going to trouble the water. He troubled with the flood. He was in trouble. We oh, this is, trouble. oh, God, this is forever ago. This probably has to be like, oh, seven, oh, eight, oh, nine, so around now. It's emotional. It's hard. It's like, then you, you know, got ashy hands, and then you want to be like, oh, yeah. let me to. Keep it to yourself. Just keep them in it. Keep it in your car. Keep it in your book bag. You got one. All guys got book bags. I don't, I don't know like what it. that's all about. You don't like it, I just. You know why? You know why the studs carry the book bags? I don't know why guys carry the book bags. It's their man purse. Okay. Without getting a man purse, because you know they're not gonna, they not gonna get a man purse. Why not just get an actual nah, bag? Because like, that, that's that's they not comfortable. They are not there yet with the man purse. Backpack. But the backpack still feels like it's they like, can get like a clutch, and then it just look like a bag. Backpack. You call it a money bag. Just call it a money bag. We Backpack. They then they gonna bags. get robbed. Low wrist lick. I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, okay. We don't, I hate it here. Alright, so we've had tequila sunrises before. We have. So um is this comparison better, less? What do you what are your thoughts? Um, I actually liked your mix of it, so I've had them before, and that's why I was Thank like, you. I don't remember it being this good because most of the time, I feel like they either be heavy on the tequila or, oddly enough, heavy on the grenadine or grenadine. I don't know how y'all say it, but I never really liked the, it be too much or something. Chuck. Oh, my God. <laughs> For the ASMR. We got you. So, That's out of five really stars, good. you're giving the tequila sunrise, a eh? Um... I'm going to give it a four. Boom. I'm going to give it a four, too. I'm going to give it a four. Only because it's not really what I want to go with, but it did what it needs to do. Yeah, it does what it needs to do, and it's nice, simple, and clean. Yes. So it's a quick, like... If you guys have any drink suggestions, make sure you drop them below in the comments. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and make sure you follow us on all of our social medias. And until next week, we out. Deuces. Bye. If you want to ride... I don't know this one. Ride the white horse. You don't, don't know, know this song. What? <laughs> Did you just make a beat? Did you just? We gonna make a beat. We gonna make a beat. Oh. I gotta give me um, one of the machines and press all the buttons. I want one so bad. Press all the buttons. Just do, 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 so, I can be, so I can be like shell on the beat. It's just, just I'm just gonna blow That's up. Real, I feel like you should do something else. I just, it else. came, it just came. Nah, let's take it. It's real. We gotta go. Okay, I have nothing. Okay. <laughs> shell cat. Shell cat. Like hell cat. Like hell cat. Shell cat. But what? Just say it and on the beat. Shell cat. Yeah. Shell Yo, cat. funny story. My voice is on somebody's mixtape. Really? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Shell, how many lives have you lived <laughs> at this point? Cause what? I have a homie. I won't say on here. Um, I have a homie, 
And um, he was doing the rap stuff and he was making his mixtape. And he was like, you know what I'm missing? I'm missing, like, you know how they had, like, the uh, Maybach music. He needed a Hello Johnny Girl. That's what Ray Charles called him. <laughs> yes. Hello Johnny. And so he needed, like, that intro. And I was, like, mad uncomfortable because many, many, many years ago when I wasn't fully comfortable with my girl six voice. And so I'm like, what? No, I can't. So we go to the studio, everything. And I'm just like. I couldn't like shake the nerves or like get out of my head of like faking this extra like whatever type of thing. So I'm like Ciroc-ing it out for the evening. <laughs> like Ciroc, Ciroc, Ciroc. And I'm like, I didn't like one. I know that one. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. It's a really nice studio too, right? So I go in there, I'm going in there because it was like red and black and just, it was a dope ass oh, studio. God. The lights was dim and I'm in there with the microphone and I'm like, okay, like what are the words again? <laughs> because at this point I'm like, I'm like tipsy drunk, right? I'm like, all right, okay, like, okay, okay, all right, okay. Okay. Uh. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, it's sex, video game. Okay, okay all right, okay, um. Uh. No, I can't do it. I can't uh, do it. I didn't like ma'am. <laughs> and we probably went through that bullshit for about an hour. Because I just couldn't. I, I couldn't do it. I don't know why I couldn't do it. Like, in my head, I was like, I don't know how to be, like, sexy. That's what I... That's a real thing, I, though. Because I don't consider me to be sexy. I'm like, I'm cute. Maybe girl next door-ish. But sexy is not it. I disagree with you. I appreciate that. But I just don't consider myself to be sexy. So I was... Really sure. I was gonna say I agree, but from my standpoint, like I don't consider myself sexy. But you be out here. Listen, let me tell you. Cause she'll be. I'm like, man, who? She got your speaking. Listen, I'm like, is this some, is this for me? Is it for me? Eventually, by the end of the night, I got it though, <laughs> and uh, I think it did his little rounds, but it didn't blow up, obviously, right? But. If this, uh, if I find it, I might throw I'll that like, clip in there. You don't tell me the name of the song because I'm gonna go find it. I'm gonna tell y'all out there. <laughs> I'm so horny. Into the fuck me? No, I'm tired of masturbating. Got my body Wait. shaking it. I'm like, what's the word? So, ooh na na na, I'm so horny. That's ooh na 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 na, I'm so horny. I'm texting ooh na 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 na. And if you don't respond me. correctly, it's over. Okay. Have you seen the text challenges that be on TikTok? So like they'll like send so guy girl whatever they'll send it to their mate. And they'll be saying the lyrics to like songs. Oh, I saw the one with like leave the door open. <laughs> yeah, that was one. It's been a couple of they just be like getting a reaction from people to see what they say. It's awesome. Mm-hmm. I like it. I'm gonna do it. I don't know I'm gonna text. I don't have. I don't have no options. I'm gonna be like, oh like, like, man. <laughs> <laughs> Only person I know will respond. What happened to our couple season? Oh, oh. we gotta do it next week. <laughs> Where are we supposed to be at in cover season anyway? Uh, I'm tired of masturbating. I got the toys now. I ain't tired. I'm tired of my old jaws. <laughs> what? <laughs> Bitch, run that back. <laughs> and my Philly boys outside of my old jaws. Now I got new toys, so I don't even care about it no more. I should probably go shopping. What? <laughs> She's excited. I do be excited. It makes me happy. We're in preseason. We're in preseason. We're in preseason. We're in preseason. The actual season starts. Um. Yeah, because that's gift giving season. <laughs> that's that's for real. Gift giving season of like, hmm, do I like you enough? Nope, no, nope. wanna give you a Christmas gift? Don't wanna spend Christmas Eve, Christmas, day after? None of the putting up with you. No. Listen, nah, none of the festivities. She said no. No. No, no, no. Don't want to have a holiday drink with you. Not going to my shit. New Year's kiss. Mm. You know what? I mm-hmm. haven't had a New Year's Eve like kiss and I don't know how fucking wrong. Do it gotta be special? What you mean? Like the person for the New Year's kiss? Yeah, because I mean, in theory, like, in theory, I would like it for me to theory, be special. It's supposed but... to be because the person you kiss first on New Year's is you saying like, I'm willing to spend the rest of my New Year building with you. Like, that's what it's for. It's like, I'm coming into this new year. 
So yeah, no. Nah. Mm-hmm. We good. No, nah, I haven't had any. I, I mean, shit, I ain't even had a, 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 a fucking kiss. Like, whatever that look like. Just, I don't even trying to be with you. I'm just trying to be with you tonight. I ain't had one of them. I don't know what to tell you. Don't call me later. It's okay. Just right now. Uh, don't say, I don't need to know your number. I'm not going to text you. We don't have to exchange anything except for condom preferences and bodily fluids. That's it. That's it. That's all I got. That's ain't got no it. more. We Safe don't need words. Safe, Safe words. words. Yeah. Safe words. Taboos. Hard yes is hard. No is hard. This is what we is. Do you like to be choked or not? Or no. Okay. If <laughs> I do this, how are you going to respond? Yeah. No. What do you want here? What do you want? That's what we need to talk about. Outside of that, leave me. Not even come ask. I don't even need nobody to be like, do you want to go to lunch? I ate, nigga. I got food at home. <laughs> I have food at home. I don't need you to ask me this. You really do not. Like, don't. I eat all day, every day. I do not need you to ask me if I ate. I'm fine. Okay? I'm trying to take you to brunch or something. I, is it bottomless? Yeah. You take me to brunch to get me drunk? Because then that's cool. <laughs> I like that. I like that. You come. Take me to brunch. Get me drunk. Come, do the wild thing. Tuck me in. Wild thing. Tuck me in and go home. Lock my door on your way out. Oh, you don't know the rest of that? Wild thing. Oh, there you go. You're my everything. Wild Wild thing. I think I love you. (laughs) There it is. You're right. That is the rest of it.